So a contractor just walked in the door with a set of plans and he would like an estimate by tomorrow. So I'm going to do just that on this episode of a Cabinet Vision Minute. So today I'm going to bid this kitchen in, in an apartment uh, that's located, in this case, it's in uh, San Francisco. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Cabinet Vision 2023 with the X bidding multiplier. And I'm also going to use the Cost Plus Bid Center with the Estimator's Toolbox. And the Estimator's Toolbox comes with the Cost Plus Bid Center. I've already done my uh, takeoffs for this project. It's just a kitchen. Uh, so my plan is to draw the walls in the kitchen and then put some elements on the walls uh, and produce a bid from there. So uh, this is going to go pretty quick, uh, but here's the assumptions I'm going to make about this. I'm going to assume premium stuff. Um, in a good, better, best scenario, this would be best. Uh, granite tops, best material, uh, maple dovetail drawers, um, uh, premium hardware, sacred doors and drawers, uh, painted, uh, well, custom color, stain and clear coat uh, with delivery and installation. So now that we have our guns loaded, let's move on to cabinet vision. As with any cabinet vision job, I'm going to fill in all the customer information and the uh, cabinet parameters that I want. Now, in this case, uh, I don't know what the materials are necessarily. And so the way I deal with that is in the estimators toolbox, I have several material schedules that uh, deal with what I call pseudo materials. In other words, I've built uh, good, better, best, scenarios for uh, different types of materials depending upon what this is. It's a wood job or a laminate job, etc. So I picked the best uh, pseudo material schedule for this job. And as I'm moving around here kind of quickly here, you can see that I've already laid out the walls for this job and they don't have to be actually perfect. They just have to be there. Um, but what I need from these plans uh, are the elevations and floor plans so that I can get an idea of uh, the size uh, and layout of each cabinet. Um, here on this wall, I've got, um, you know, two, three drawer stacks. And uh, so I've laid those in there and now moving on to the next wall. Um, so got a microwave cabinet and in the estimators toolbox I have a pretty good library of, of uh, cabinets that you might find in all kinds of different scenarios. So I've taken the microwave cabinet right out of the estimators toolbox uh, as are the drawer cabinets um, and even in this case the the bench uh, for this. So I've uh, everything here is taken right from the estimator's toolbox. Um, I need to rearrange this particular cabinet so it has three drawers in it. This is a bench seating kind of thing. It doesn't really matter that the sizes of the drawers don't jive up exactly with what's on the plans here. Just remember that this is an estimate. So numbers are important. Uh, moving on to the next wall. Got a base cabinet uh, and an upper with glass. And so I'm going to lay those in in this uh, niche here. Uh, again, all the cabinets uh, for this are just picked right from the estimator's toolbox and sized, you know, as as they need to be. But you can pretty well pick a cabinet that is within an inch or two of the uh, cabinet that you're looking for from the estimator's toolbox. So I think the elapsed time so far here is, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 minutes. 
So I'm configuring the upper cabinet uh, with glass doors. Now the prices for the doors themselves are coming from the door catalog. So it's important when you're using uh, or when you're making an estimate uh, with the Cost Plus Bid Center that you select a door style with the proper pricing applied uh, from your door catalog. Uh, then moving over to the next little niche here by the refrigerator, we've got a couple uppers that we need to uh, fit in there. So just uh, adjusting the size and the numbers of doors here, etc. Um, then I'm pretty well good to go on the perimeter of the island, or excuse me, the perimeter of the of the kitchen cabinets. My wood timer or my project timer flashed up there for a second, and you could see maybe that it was 23 minutes elapsed time so far. And I'm moving on to the island here, have a variety of cabinets, one of which is an appliance panel over the dishwasher. Um, and I, th I think some of the other appliances are supposed to have uh, appliance panels like the refrigerator, although I forgot to add them in for this, for this particular bid. But uh, at any rate, uh, appliance panels can be uh, picked from the estimator's toolbox or you can create one uh, yourself you know by hiding parts as you would uh, in a normal drawing situation um, again the appliance panels um, should be coming from your door catalog as an appliance panel is I would consider it a, a door uh, the island is a little bit deeper than 24 inches I think by I think it's like 30 some inches deep and so on the back side of this island cabinets there are some five inch deep cabinets that we'll put on the back side I'm gonna add in a uh, Revish shelf um, uh, rubber, uh, rubber shelf garbage pull out and um, I, again I pull that directly from the estimators toolbox uh, you can add to the estimators toolbox as you want to but it comes preloaded with a lot of handy elements like uh, some rubber shelf um, uh, garbage pull outs uh, corner solutions um, you know, for different uh, Lazy Susans and Magic Corner solutions, etc. Okay, the last thing I want to do here is add some countertops. And so I'm just going to quickly add in countertops for the whole room. And I think I'm about done here as far as this bid goes. So I'm going to the bid center and uh, I'm going to slow the video down a little bit here so we can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. I'm going to pick the appropriate rate tables from the Cost Plus bid center. Uh, rate tables for the construction type, uh, always for the materials which is the job global and then you would break this out and make it as granular as you want it to for the client size and I would recommend just keeping it you know room by room bottom line number for internal reports and for adding in your um, your markup um, you can add in whatever uh, markup you want there. In this case, I've added in 30% uh, to bring this particular estimate up to just short of uh, $30,000, including the markup. And I can use this to add in other fees as well. For example, let's say I want a design fee. The estimator's toolbox includes a lot of non-graphical line items uh, for fees, uh, etc. 
there we can see the total lapse time for this estimate is uh, 38 minutes. Uh, what we did is we created a, a bid job and we set the cabinet defaults for that according to what we had in the in the plans from the architect. Um, we added walls and appliances, just a quick you know run around the room. And again, dimensions aren't really critical in this case. It's more about uh, placement uh, more than anything. Uh, the important dimensions are going to come when we add the objects uh, from the estimator's toolbox catalog. Uh, those should be you know, um, the, the sizes of those should be pretty close to what you glean from the uh, takeoffs from the architect. So once we have all the cabinets set in the room, uh, then we're going to run the, um, or the material summary with description report, uh, which is also included in the cost plus bid center. And make sure that we have all the, you know, there, there, there's no zeros on that report. We want to make sure that anything on that list has a value, a price associated with it. After we have corrected uh, the prices, uh, if any need to be made from the material summary report, then we're going to select the rate tables from the cost plus bid center, select the rate tables from the cost plus bid center for this job that are appropriate for it. Then we're going to export the estimate to the to a spreadsheet program or word processing program, whichever you use um, and format that, you know, the way you want it uh, for your submittal to the customer. Uh, and then you're off and running. It's it's that quick. I bet that's uh, heck of a lot faster and a lot more accurate uh, than, um, you know, than doing this from a spreadsheet, perhaps. Um, so anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one, where in part two, going to go over a slightly different process for doing the same thing that we did here. Uh, only we're not going to spend so much time on the walls, etc. Um, this is going to be a faster version, um, but still the output should be very close to the same thing, if not exactly uh, the same. So uh, see you on the next one.